What's going on everybody? As the title says, we're gonna do part two of trying to fix the Audi. So we came to the conclusion that uh, it was spark plugs and coil packs and one coil pack disintegrated in here and I had to pull it out with those pliers. So what I did is just kind of plug it up with some paper towels and stuff. And uh, we have the new stuff from FCP Euro that I ordered, new coil packs and spark plugs. got to support other businesses as well so got these core pads got some NGK laser platinum spark plugs and uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today so I have most of my stuff I believe also have some anti C's to go on these new spark plugs so uh, we are just gonna dive right into it put you on my head and uh, let's get it going Don't need much, just a little bit. This was made in 9520. Alrighty. Well, as y'all all know about Audi and VWs, plastic clip broke yet again. So we'll see if it fires up or not.
the truth. Let's see if the vehicle made out of 100% plastic can fire up. Still got a misfire. What's going on everybody? Back for an outro. We're in the Audi. It's all fixed, hopefully. Watch it not start this time. So. misfire so what i had to do is i hooked up my obd2 and it was saying a whole bunch of items were wrong i think i have a picture of them if i have a picture i'll post them right here right here right here somewhere in here um i deleted those and then i came back looked at it again and then it gave me another code and i'll put the other code right here if i have it I hope I have these pictures because I think I took them. Anyways, whatever. Um, Got that code. So I tried to clear that one out. It didn't clear out. So what I did is I disconnected the battery for, I think it was like 10 minutes or so. Not too long. Uh, it's doing that notorious Audi thing. I've looked on forums. They said this is normal. So it is what it is. Um yeah disconnected the battery hooked it back up started it still had that code still had a slight misfire um and then i turned the car off read on the forums to do like a ecu reset so the car can learn over again so i did that and uh hooked my obd2 up again erased that code fired right up now i have noticed that it drives way differently um it seems like you need a lot more gas input to go i don't know what that's about maybe it just needs to learn itself again or maybe before with the bad spark plus it was just like pouring extra gas when it didn't need to i don't know i don't know but it drives different it's smooth it's just not as responsive so i don't i don't really know what to go from here i don't really want to tinker with it because you know once you tinker with something it's probably gonna break again so we'll just note that change the spark plugs and core pads in 94 900 yeah we drove 23 miles um change the spark plugs then and then maybe in about 30 or 40 thousand i think you're supposed to change them at 40 thousand intervals anyways probably around 35 i'll pull them and change them again um just to see how they're holding up uh, let's see what's next for this car we i think we still have a coolant leak i found where it's coming from it's the plastic reservoir piece plastic again i know right it's cracked so i'm not gonna buy another one this will be like the third one we bought so i'm gonna use a little special something something to seal it up and then we also have a mysterious fluid leak so i gotta find that out but it's a lot more to go on with this car um I like it, but I hate it. It's one of those love-hate relationships. Like, I love the way this car looks, but I hate almost everything about it. Like, motor-wise, like the... St I guess the motor really isn't that bad, but all the plastic shit, they could have got something else other than this brittle-ass biodegradable plastic. But anyways, let me get off my soapbox for a second. But yeah, you're going to see a lot more... Uh, Audi content you're gonna see a little bit more monster content and then expedition content is coming up and uh finally hopefully we can start working on a drift car again because that car has been neglected with all the other cars breaking all the time
I'm sorry, FRS. If you're watching this, know that I love you. <laughs> so that's about it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, shop with your boy at SchultzDriftShop.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Y'all really started watching a lot of the videos, and I really appreciate it. A lot of new subscribers, so thank y'all for subscribing. I hope y'all stay subscribed and stay liking the videos. Um, I'm going to start. I'm, I'm going to be pushing them out this year. So, yeah, let's get it going. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.